All right, so uh, for this example, what we're going to do is we are going to use the integrated rate law, and that would be the natural log of the concentration of whatever reactant you're looking at uh, at time t. So in this case, it's going to be SO2Cl2 at time t equals negative K. What was K again? Rate constant times T time plus the natural log of the concentration of whatever you're looking at initially. So you say the concentration at time equals zero or sub zero. All right, and so in this problem, we've got the rate constant plus 2.9 times 10 negative fourth. Um, we we're going to say if that reaction is carried out with initial concentration of 0.0225 molar, what will the concentration be after 865 seconds? So what are we looking for? Which variable here? The first one, the, first one, the concentration at time t? Yes, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the concentration at time t. Okay, so let's just plug in our values. Okay, so we got a negative k, which is... 2.90 times 10 to the negative fourth reciprocal seconds times t. What's our t? 865 seconds times 865 seconds plus the natural log of our initial concentration. So initial concentration 0.0225. And then we plug that into our calculator. So we take uh, negative 2.9 times 10 negative 4 times 865 plus the natural log of 0 0.022 fiber. That means 5. Negative what? I'm sorry. 866. Six. Six, six. We'll have to go to three sig figs. 89866. Six, six. So we have 1.90. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What are we looking for again? Concentration. 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 We've got a negative 1.90. Can we have a negative concentration? No. So what? Is that right? Is that what everybody got? That's what you got? Yeah. 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 So, uh, so this is a negative 1.90. Well, uh, it turns out, is that our concentration? Not, it's the natural log of our concentration. So we need to solve a little bit more. We need to calculate a little bit more. So basically, I need to get rid of this natural log. How do I get rid of the natural log? E, e, raise to the base E, or E, exponentiate both sides. Okay, so the exponentiate or exponential of the natural log cancels out. So now we have SO2, got to switch up colors. The concentration of SO2Cl2 at time t equals E to the negative 1.90. What do we get now? Yes? Instead of 1.90? Yeah. 4.04? Yeah, 4.045. Can you can you just go over the math? Yeah. So just take uh, negative 2.90 times 10 negative 4 times 865. No. 
I know. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure it's negative four, four oh four, four oh four, four oh five. Yeah. I'll be. We'll be able to uh, check in the next step. So I heard three four oh fives, and we'll be able to make sense. So I can I can do it. I can try. <laughs> All right. I will take a negative two point nine times ten to the negative four times eight sixty five. All right. I'll put a negative on that plus the natural log of point zero two two five. I got 3.85, negative 3.85, but that's not right. <laughs> negative 2.90e, negative 4, times 865, I get negative 0.25, plus... The natural log, 0.0225. Now I got 4.04. Let us know. Yeah. 4.05? All right, third time's the charm. All right, so negative 2.90. Negative 4 times 865 plus natural log of 0 0.0225. Yeah, I'm getting negative 4.05, not 0. Okay. So we'll be able to check. Okay, so that's, this is what I'm getting now. So let's take exponentiate that. So e to the negative 4.5, and that's usually your second or your shift natural log, right? Negative 4.05. I'm getting 0 0.0174. What's your, what are my units? Molarity, yep. So. The units don't really shake out the way we did the algebra, but just remember, anytime you see something in brackets, that's the concentration in molarity. Now, if we are a little unsure of this answer, okay, we should always ask, does this make sense? Okay, whenever we can try to put a little bit of logic into what our uh, answer should be, or what it could be, uh, that will help us build a little confidence in our answer, okay? So I'm getting 0.0174 molarity, so that's the concentration at time t. I got an initial concentration of 0.0225. So does 0.0174 make sense? It's low. Yes. It went down. Yes. Should it go down? Yes, it's the, it's a decomposition reaction, it's a reactant. And so yeah, reactants concentration go down, all right? And it's a little bit lower, that's fine. I mean, I don't know, you know how much lower. But if we got an answer, so say we did the um, E of, <coughs> what was the other one we got? 0.405? Or give me some other answers we got. 1 1.98. 1.98? 1.90. 1.90? Negative? Mm -hmm. Negative, let's see if that works. It might, I'm not going to lie, it could still make sense. Nope, I got 0 0.1495. So that is higher than my initial concentration. So you, should, you could have realized, hey, that, that's not the right answer. So I need to go back and double check that, okay? And so, 
So, and. All right, so that's how we use the um, integrated rate law. We can calculate the uh, concentration of a reactant after some amount of time. Uh, the other way we'll use this is we know a starting amount and we know how much we have at the present time. We can figure out how much time elapsed. We can solve the key there. And I guess the only uh, um, tricky part is you just gotta remember how to get rid of these natural laws. All right, you gotta remember, you gotta go back to algebra class and remember the um, E, exponentiate. Okay, so whatever this is, the anti-natural log or exponential, whatever you want to call it, uh, to get rid of those. Right. <coughs> All right. <laughs>